This one, I'm not an insurance salesman, but I get asked a lot about insurance. If you go back to that model where you think of the foundation, the machinery of your business that fits on top of that foundation, business insurance is like a layer of padding that kind of like protects the whole thing, right? It's a little extra protection for your business and assets, especially if you have assets that go above and beyond certain of your just regular insurance policy limits, right? So um, if you have inheritance, if you have, you know, bank accounts that are, that take, you know, take your risk a little bit higher because you've got assets that are unprotected there, you might look at things like an umbrella policy. How many here have an umbrella policy or heard of an umbrella policy, right? This is actually designed to cover additional assets above and beyond what, what may be covered by just your regular um, insurance policies. Janine says, yes. So just keep that in mind. Insurance is also unique to your business. Just like when you buy a home and you put um, homeowner's insurance in place, right? And they ask you, um, do you own a trampoline? Do you have a dangerous dog? Do you have a swimming pool? What they're doing is trying to assess the risk level related to your property before they can insure it, right? Business is the same way. What are you doing in your business? What kind of risks uh, might you have? If you are somebody who runs live events, that's a very different risk than somebody who only runs online events, right? So there's different coverages available depending on the, the very specific activities in your business. So understand that for small businesses, um, there's something like 13 different business insurance policies available to you. You can often get them bundled together for cost savings, depending on what your business model is. Um, but they do protect only against specific types of risk, not all risk, right? They don't really protect people from themselves if they're a big jerk, <laughs> which I know you're not, but some people think like, oh, I've got insurance in place. I'm good. No, you have to read the policy. You have to be aware of exactly what it protects and the specifics of your, um, your particular uh, insurance product. Now, my best recommendation in this bucket is connect with a business insurance broker, somebody who knows the marketplace, who can help assess your business, can help get a cost-effective um, insurance policy or policies in place for your business, depending on what you need. Um, happiness says, I have one for myself. Is there also one for your own business? So happiness, generally the personal insurance policies are going to be like life insurance, um, automobile insurance, right? Um, but for, for businesses, yes, you want a specific policy and don't make the mistake, by the way, a lot of people think like, oh, I have a home office, but I've got homeowner's insurance. So I'm covered. No, unless you've specifically had a conversation with your insurance provider that you are working from home, that you have a home office and they've done an assessment of like, do you meet clients there? What exactly is happening there? You will not have coverage for work activities done at home, right? So just make sure that you go through the analysis, you connect with somebody who can help you assess your insurance needs. It's often less expensive than people think to actually look inside this particular bucket. Mm -hmm.